Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna I'm gonna show you where I go on my sugar route to collect some Snaptail reed and what I do. Uh, of course there's Snaptail reed all along the river and that's where we're gonna actually head up. So the route I typically start with, I come down here to Yield Folk Hot Dogs and then I start over there, there's a bunch here and then we kind of sort of head up this way, we'll head up the creek. There's a bunch along this creek here, which uh, you can go, uh, I'm pretty sure you'll probably find up there, but I'll, I'll show you where, where I grab them. I go all the way up here, and sometimes I'll just stop here by the overseer's camp. Uh, typically there's a bridge here. Uh, you get you get probably a good 20 to 40 uh, snap tail reed by this time. You can make quite a bit of sugar, but if you really want to go to the full way, we'll go the full way today again. You don't have to come back twice, right? Uh, and and uh, we'll go all the way up here until around, I guess, this section. There's kind of just uh, past this bridge somewhere there. Um, I think it's probably up to yeah, where I will actually end up. And, and that's kind of my route that I go to. The reason I collect sugar is, of course, to make cranberry relish. Um, I'll show you a little bit about that. But if you do want to make cranberry relish for the new people, you come here to White Springs uh, if you don't have the plan. And there is a chef shop inside uh, White Spring Resort. For those low levels, you can come here, just come to this train station. Don't come this route here because you'll get killed by the ghouls if you're low level. Typically, um, the game's pretty balanced, so maybe that's not the case anymore, but if you want the safest bet, just come here to this train station. You can sneak through the gates and come to White Spring and just serve a hub for the recipe. It does. It is a pretty tedious, it does take a while. It's probably easier <coughs> to serve a hub at players camps and see if they have the recipe but if you can't find it then certainly white spring you will eventually get it but anyway the video is more about my route to the uh, snapchat read and what i follow and then we'll make a bit of cranberry relish which you will need some gold um, which uh, is one of the, the items that you need but anyway so like i said i, I, I kind of start here i head straight into the water here there's some right at this edge, kind of where you spawn in, maybe a little bit further down here. I grab these. I head all the way along the riverbank here. You'll get some, uh, you'll get some right, uh, uh, more rats kind of chasing you. Sometimes these NPCs will take care of them. You don't have to worry about them. There is a few NPCs along here. If not, just take them out. Okay, so we kind of, yeah, just at the bridge. But we're going to go a little bit further. And just, there's an NPC typically right here. He'll typically take care of the mole rats for you. So not to slow you down. And then just kind of past the bridge. There's a bunch here. So we're going to go ahead and grab these. So just grab those and then we're going to head back here, back to the bridge and we're going to follow the, the river all the way up. And we're just going to try and avoid all the enemies. Uh, we're on a Snaptail read mission. We don't really care, but feel free to take them out, get some extra XP. And then we're just going to head up here. We'll just grab some just under the bridge. There's some here. And again, depending on the server you are and if you pick them, remember you can only pick these every 20 hours or so. So if you've done it one day, you're not going to find it the next day or you can't server hop. Just remember that. I mean, this all creates a lot of sugar, especially if you've got super duper on. If you have super duper on, uh, it will create you quite a bit of sugar. Uh, if you don't have wood, there's a lot of wood up this way as well. So if you don't have a lot of wood, grab some of this wood up here. Oh, there's actually a chicken there. Okay, we won't get distracted. <laughs> I was thinking of a challenge I needed to do with that chicken. Okay, so we're going to continue here. Okay, we'll, we'll set off this uh, event, we can ignore, but you will get fired upon by the robots. And again, if you go down this way, all the way down to Camden Park, there's a lot of wood down there, all the way along there, it's kind of a great wood 
wood path if you're kind of just in the area. Okay, so we're going to head along this bank here. And we're going to just ignore these robots for the moment. Okay, just on the other side of this bridge. There's going to be a couple here as well. And we should exit the event uh, shortly. Okay, so just keep an eye along um, the banks here. Okay, there's some here yeah, that already been picked. Well, some, some servers just are different. They don't spawn every time. Even though you haven't picked them in 20 hours, um, or someone else has picked them. Even on a private server, you might find that. Okay, so we're exiting the vent. Okay, so just continue up this way. And again, one thing to make sure I didn't mention is make sure you have green thumb on, of course. Um, let me actually just show you that. Uh, I take that for granted for us high level players, but for you low level ones, just make sure that you have this green thumb card on so you get double, double snap tail read. Again, lots of wood on the way up here. So just grab some. So at this point, you can decide whether normally when I come up to this point um, and I see the bridge, you're pretty much not going to get anything until after the bridge. So if we take a look here quick. We've got 96, so that'll make a, a fair bit of um, sugar. Let me grab, just grab a uh, weight booster here quick. Not too probably. But let's continue. Um, like I say, you can make a ton of sugar with 96. Um, it needs two snap to read, I think, per sugar. And of course, when you see sugar in the wasteland, pick it up, uh, even if you don't need it, because it'll help later on when you are wanting to make some cranberry relish. Anyway, we're going to continue, because uh, there's still a lot of, of Snaptail read past this bridge. Let me show you where it is. And this is why I typically stop at that bridge, because you have to walk quite a bit further just to get uh, the step tail read again. But if you continue just after this road, we'll start to see it. So he has one year. Okay, so we continue across the bridge. And then we should start seeing some more.
And if you want, you can you can just do this upper section as well if you like. As you can see, there's quite a bit here, just like we saw at the bottom section. And the nice thing about sugar, once you made it, make it, it doesn't spoil, so you can keep it as long as you want. So there's no harm in making too much sugar. Uh, I don't think it's too heavy either. So you just put it in your stash box. Or just keep it on you, like I do. Okay, then we get into this section. I I think there's a little, there's a few more, but it's pretty much at this section I decide to, I'll head back to camp. Useful having those NPCs to take care of those enemies. Yeah, I don't think there's too much more yet, I think we're kind of done. We'll start getting into blood leaves and stuff like that at this point, I think. Yeah, there might be a few more there, but anyway, let's let's head back to camp. So as you can see, I've headed all the way right up to there. I came all along this river. That's kind of where the most of them is. This whole section, yeah, we didn't see much here. And then there's a whole bunch at the bottom and along the banks all the way along here. Like I said, you probably can find them up here as well. But that's kind of the route that I take uh, to get my snappery. Let's take a look how much we've actually got here. So 132 in total, which isn't too bad. Okay, make sure you have super duper on, uh, all your crafting perks on. That way you can duplicate or at least uh, get more when you're creating sugar. You want to try and maximize that as, as much as you can. So, let me just see right now. So I have, do I have any? Yeah, I have six sugar at the moment. So just come here over to your stove, your cooking stove. I'll talk a little bit about the cranberry relish in a second. Okay, just come here down to sugar. We just need snap, two snap tail reed and one wood. So very easy, very low cost effective to make. You just make a whole bunch and then that should last you. You should only have to do that trip maybe once a week, maybe once every three days, depending on how much cranberry really should go through or what to use.
That doesn't take too long. Um, reasonably quick. Okay, as you can see, my super duper going off in the left hand corner. And just for those that aren't familiar with it, let me just show you that quick. So make sure you have the super duper card on. Uh, just it, it doubles it, the chance to double everything. Um, okay, if you're able to get it, depending on your level. And let's just double check how much sugar. So there you go. We've got 90 sugar, which should last quite a bit of time. In terms of cranberry relish, like I said, grab the uh, the actual recipe from White Spring or a player vendor, and then you will need some. Wait, I went straight past it. You'll need uh, water, cranberries, uh, gold, sugar, um, and wood, right? So. I just grow about eight uh, gold in my crops, and then you can use turbo fertilizer if you have that, just to get some more if you need more. And then I grab cranberry relis up at Aaron Hull Farm up here, um, or you can just get it from the from the bog. The places I typically would go to are places like um, the Creekside Sundry Grove has has a bunch of cranberries. Or if you're down yet by uh, doing the events that uh, you can come here down to Sunrails Field, there's a, a Queen Myolog. So just kind of, you just have to kind of uh, run around in circles uh, if you don't want to kill it. Uh, but there's a whole bunch, there's probably 10 there as well. But the easiest, of course, is up here, as long as no one's built a camp. Uh, just kind of below Aaron Hold Farm, there's a little field, there's 10, you can get 20 in most times, most cases, 20, I've definitely had some sort of luck where I've got 26 and, and stuff like that, but typically you'll get 20 cranberries if you have uh, green thumb on there. Anyway, that's my route. I hope you found it useful. If you did, hit the like button. And if you've got any comments, put them in the channel. If you've got any tips for other users and players, also add them to the comments um, to help them out on what you do and maybe where you find them. But like I say, when you see sugar in kitchens and on shelves, grab them. And then if you need extra sugar because you're making a bunch of cranberry relish, like myself, then uh, just um, go collect them and then you can keep them and just make it when you need. Anyway, thanks for watching.